First off, if you are here watching this video, I am so sorry. I really thought I understood what women went through when they miscarried, but honestly, until I went through a miscarriage of my own, I had no idea. I always tried to be empathetic, but unless you've been through this situation, you really can't understand it. And my heart aches for you that this is the journey you are on right now. I was shocked to find how little information was out there when I was desperately seeking support following my miscarriage. My goal is by the end of this video is to give you four things that you can do to help you begin and continue the process of healing emotionally after your miscarriage. Hi, I'm Dr. Jen, and for the best natural wellness tips, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you can be notified each time I drop a new video. And hang around till the end. I have a really special gift for you. It's something that I wish I had in the beginning of my healing journey following my miscarriage. To be honest, I wasn't really sure I ever wanted to have children or I was ever going to have children until I met my husband and we have the most incredible relationship. And I knew that with him, we could raise incredible children and provide them a beautiful life. We got married March 12th, 2022, and decided to try for our first child right away. On April 20th, we found out we were pregnant with our first child and we were both so excited. Then on May 7th, I woke up to my worst nightmare, blood. As the day went on, the bleeding got worse. And by the end of the day, there was no denying it. I was miscarrying. The carpet was being swept out from right underneath me. And I was desperate for any support, any peace, any understanding of this journey I was on. My goal is over this next video, the next few minutes of this video, to share with you four things that truly helped me heal emotionally through the coming weeks. And I really, truly help, they heal, help you heal. They help you find peace. They help you find comfort and healing through this incomprehensible journey of miscarriage. My first tip is time. Give yourself time. Clear your schedule, social obligations, work, uh, obligations around the home. Clear your schedule and give yourself time. I can't really give you an amount of time, but I'm going to say give yourself a minimum of two days to just be. Start to ask yourself this, these questions. Who do I need to coordinate with? Do I need to coordinate care? Ask my spouse to help with the children, coordinate care for the children, call my boss. Um, do you know, I need to talk to family and friends. What do I need to do in order to clear this time on my schedule and give yourself permission in this time to just be, I took a lot of baths. I cried a lot. I slept. I healed. I took walks. I sat outside in the sun. I did almost nothing. I just gave myself time to be and to process. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, Jen, I miscarried six months ago, a year ago. And my question to you is, have you given yourself time since then to just be, to have that ugly cry, to take that long bath? Have you given yourself the time to begin that healing journey? And if you haven't, it's never too late to carve out some time for yourself. Maybe it's just crazy around your house and you know that no matter what you coordinate, you're not gonna get that time. We'll talk to your spouse and maybe go book a hotel for a night. Give yourself that space and that time to heal. Tip number two is journaling. You might've noticed that following your miscarriage, your mind is spiraling. My thoughts, have been and continue to be at times just out of control, having a total mind of their own, going down worst case scenarios, thinking about 
well, what if this happens again and I conceive? You know, what if, you know, is it wrong for me to want another child after losing this child? Like you, you can go in all of these crazy ways of thinking. But my best tip to you with this is journaling. Get those thoughts out of your head onto paper so you can release them. And if they're really, really negative thoughts, write them down on paper and burn them. Let them go. But take some time to journal. When your mind is racing, journal. Maybe you're not really sure where to start. I'm going to share with you some journal prompts that really helped me. One great journal prompt for you is to write a letter to your unborn child. Even though you never got to experience this child in the physical realm, you will always be their mother. So write them a letter. Let them know of the dreams you had and the time that you were carrying them, the, the life you expected for them, the goals you had, the birth you planned, how much love you felt for them already. Write it all out. Get it out of your mind and onto paper as a way to seal that relationship with this child of yours. Another great journal prompt is to write a letter to yourself. As you move through your miscarriage, you might hear a lot of insensitive things from people. And it's not because they often have malice or want to hurt your feelings. It's because people really get uncomfortable and don't know what to say. So maybe you write a letter to yourself saying all the things that you wish other people were saying to you, the things that you need to hear, the things that you want to hear. Write yourself the loving letter that your soul needs to experience. And maybe after you write this letter, you start each day with it and read it as you're going through this healing journey so that you're starting each day hearing the things that are benefiting you the most. The last journal prompt I have for you is to release those insensitive things that are said to you. Take a loose piece of paper and write down some of the things that people have said that you just want to scream and cry about, the things that make you want to shake the person, be like, why would you say that to me? Write them down on a piece of paper. Write them all down. Get them out of your mind. Write them down. Scratch them out. Take the paper. Take it outside. Burn the paper. Let those things go. Don't let other people's inability to comfort you or inability to say the right thing hold you back from your healing journey. Tip number three is to process with support. We hold emotions and traumas in our bodies. If you haven't read The Body Hips, The Score, it's a great book that explains this process to you. But let's just dive into this idea. Your miscarriage is a trauma. It's an emotional and a physical trauma. And your body and your mind and your soul have been through so much in this journey. So it's imperative that we find support in releasing that trauma, in letting it go in a loving way so that we can move forward, that we can have memories of this unborn child in a loving way of this pregnancy that didn't make it go the way we expected it to in an absolutely loving way. Um, I urge you as you think about finding support outside of you in other avenues to avoid things that will help you avoid. So we'll stay away from things like binge watching TV, drinking, drugs, those avoidance tactics. We want to try to steer away from them and find some healthier options. I'm going to give you a few of my favorites in just a moment. But, you know, as I record this video, I'm three years sober. And I, I can tell you the day after I miscarried, the one thought I had through my head all day is, damn, I could really drink an entire bottle of wine right now. It's really easy to want to steer in the direction of those avoidance behaviors, but I urge you to steer in the direction of the healing modalities. So some of the things that I utilize and continue to utilize on my healing journey are Reiki, emotion code, EMDR therapy, uh, massage, acupuncture, yoga, gentle yoga heated yoga, just moving your body. There's so many different ways that we can support the release of these emotions and traumas and the processing of them. So we don't hold on to them so tightly that they affect every area of our lives. After my next tip, I'm going to share with you how you can get my, I miscarried now what ebook that has not only these tips in more detail, but so many other tips that helped me heal 
through my miscarriage journey, and I hope can support you in your healing. My last tip is to use your essential oils. Now, if you've been hanging around this channel for a while, you know that I'm always talking about doTERRA, certified, pure, tested, great essential oils. And those are the only oils I use. But I can tell you that as I went through this journey, I leaned heavy into these three essential oils. And they honestly are still in my purse every day with me as I move through this journey, because I don't know when the grief is going to come up. I don't know when the conversation with someone's going to pop up that makes my heart hurt and makes me feel sad and just devastated by this loss, even weeks, months later. So I use these essential oils on my pulse points, my wrists, my heart, behind my ears, even right here under the collarbone. Um, it's incredible the help and support and healing and comfort they bring me. So the first one's rose and rose is so healing to the heart. This one, I often just put right over my heart space. Uh, I'll even put it on the wrists and breathe it in when I just feel like I need some love. I don't know about you ladies, but there's a lot of guilt and self-doubt that comes with miscarriage for me of what did I do wrong? And rose helps me love myself through that process and know that this is God's plan. And there's something else out there for me. The next is forgive <laughs> because I don't know about you, but there's been a lot of anger in this journey. Why did I have to deal with this? Why is this part of my story? And forgive has helped me to release some of that anger to myself, to God, to the universe, to other people for saying insensitive things, uh, just to forgive this process. So again, behind the ears, on the wrists, over the heart, this has been a key to have on hand. And then lastly, console. This is like a hug in a bottle. My heart hurts. My heart hurts in a way I've never experienced before. And this oil has helped to heal my heart and to help me move through this process. And I know that it can help you as you move through your healing process. So lean into your essential oils, use them, keep them on you. So they are there when you need them at the gas station or after lunch with a friend or at lunch with a friend, whatever it be, whenever you need those oils, have them with you so you can lean into them. Comment below and let me know which of these tips was the most helpful for you at this point in your journey. If you found this video helpful, I know that you'll love my other videos, like three steps to optimize your sleep. As promised, the free download is in the description below so you can have the guide of all of the tips that really truly helped me as I move through this healing process following my miscarriage. Also, click the link to join my exclusive online community. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified each time I drop a new video. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up.